Creating step-by-step -step guides or how-to videos, it could be a pretty time-consuming process. I've been doing it for almost eight years now and it still takes me quite a bit of time to make just one how-to video. But there's an AI tool that could pretty much automate this process for you. And the way it works is all you have to do is press start, go through any process as you normally would, and then it will create the entire guide or how-to video for you automatically. This app is called Guide and I've partnered with them for this video to show you exactly how it works. Now, I'm actually gonna go through a real example. I have a project right now for my company that I need someone else to do starting next week. So I'm gonna create this guide. I'll just walk through the steps. It will create the guide using this app and then I will just share that with them. And I'll show you some more advanced things this could do as well. So click the link in the description, it will bring you here. And all you have to do is install a free Chrome extension. They do have a completely free plan. I'm gonna use most of the free options here, but I do have the paid upgrade, the business plan. So I'll put some text on screen if I'm using a feature that requires a paid upgrade. And just go ahead and add the extension to whatever browser you're using. I'm using the Chrome browser here, so it will appear right on top over here. Now here's how easy it is to create these guides, okay? Just click this little icon here. And then you just have to press capture. Now here, it's gonna ask you what you're capturing. They have a ton of different options. So I'm um, creating employee trainings using this. A lot of times I'll do a product how-to. That's what I'm doing in this case, actually. And you have different options available too. And here you would just describe what you're trying to capture. I'm trying to create a video on how to add a new course to our platform. We use a platform called Kajabi to do that. So that's what I typed in. I'm gonna press go. And it says capture is about to start. And now I'm just gonna go through the process as I normally would. I wouldn't have to talk through it. All this is gonna take place automatically. So I'm gonna click here, go to courses. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new course up here. Again, all the steps as I normally would go through the process myself, but it's actually monitoring what I'm doing. It's gonna pay attention to everything I'm typing out. And I sped up the process a little bit here, but let me go ahead and click on top right here to stop it. That's gonna stop the capture. Let's say this is the end point and a new window is going to open up in just a few seconds and it's going to go ahead and create this entire how-to guide for us step by step. Right on top, we have a how-to video. This has created a how-to video for us. On the left side, these are all the different steps that it captured as I went through that process as I normally would. And then as I scroll down, it's showing exactly every single step. So right here, log in. So I went to the Kajabi website. That was step one. Step two was to log in. Then I clicked on the product tab. I clicked on the courses tab. I added a new course. So every single step of the process fully documented with nice arrows. And all this is customizable. Just to show you an example, I could go to this very specific slide and I could change anything. I could change the title. So this was very straightforward. Click on new course. I don't really need to change that. Initiate the creation of a new course by clicking a new course. But if I want more description, I could just type that out here and I could go ahead and save it. If I wanna crop this page, I could go ahead and crop this page or zoom into it even more. So for example, maybe I wanna zoom in and just show this right on top, confirm that. It's gonna go ahead and update that for us. Any of the visuals, I could go ahead and click edit. It's gonna bring us to this page and everything including this text that you see over here is customizable. Look at all the different controls you have. But the point of this is it pretty much takes care of all that for us. This is if you really wanna take it a step further, everything you see is fully customizable. Now, right on top, you also get a full how-to video. So that's in addition to the guide. You could share both of those or one of these. Let me just show you what this sounds like here. Learn how to add a new course in Kajabi with these detailed instructions. Simply follow the steps provided to successfully add a new course for employee training or any other purpose. Access the platform by clicking on login. Okay, so that AI generated voice, all of that was added as well. I didn't really have to do anything, but if I wanna edit this video right on top, you have this edit video option and every single slide in video format could be edited here. So for example, again, if I don't want something here, I could go ahead and press the three dots here. I could go ahead and delete this step. I could even duplicate this step. I could change the timing on how long this stays in the how-to video. In this case, it's only staying for three seconds. Maybe I wanna extend it to six seconds. I could add steps here. If for some reason during the screen capture, I forgot a step, I could still customize it and add it here. I could also change the background that you see. So 
they have different backgrounds you see that so maybe this blue is something i like more i could go ahead and change it there now you could also edit the voiceover here so the voiceover that got generated with ai this is something that you could go ahead and customize yourself and you could also record which i really like this one gets access to your microphone here and you could press record and record the voiceover yourself if you like if you don't like the ai text to voice options you could use your own voice text to voice could actually speak in different languages. So if you click this pencil icon, look at all these different languages I have access to. And within each one, you could see I have a ton of different speakers that I could choose from. So if I wanted to translate this to a different language, let's say I want to translate this to Spanish, I'll go and find Spanish down here. Let's click on this. I'll listen to some voices. No graves. Escríbelo. Okay, great. I'm going to choose this voice. You also have this integration tab on the left side, and this could integrate with all kinds of different apps. One of my favorites is this Gmail integration where you could link your Gmail if you use Gmail for your email. And this lets you embed your guides inside of your emails with this integration, which is a really great way to share these. You also have an entire brand kit. So typically you want these to be branded if you're creating this for your company. So you could go to the brand kit tab and you could go ahead and change everything, including the cover over here. If you want to change the video intro, you could edit anything that you see on this page, including obviously the colors. You want to add your own logo over here, which I've done. So make sure you change as much as you need to inside of your brand kit to get that cohesive look across all the different how-to guides and videos that you make. And lastly, I'll show you how to share your guide. So with this guide completed, I just have to press share right on top over here. And you have a lot of different ways to share this. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and save publicly, but you could also change how this is saved. For example, you could just keep this private and restricted just for your internal use here. But then you just go ahead and press share type in an email and you could share it with them that way. You could also export this too, which is useful. You could export as an MP4 file. You could also embed this on a website with a simple iframe embed code. It also has this smart copy over here. So if you use any of these apps, if you use WordPress for your website or Webflow, for example, you could share it directly with these options as well. But usually I'll just go to the share option. This starts in the very beginning. I'll type in someone's email or just copy the link directly from here. And when they open the link, this is exactly what they see. They get the video right on top with all the changes that I've made to it. They get the step-by-step -step guide underneath it with all the different images and the arrows and everything I've customized and the table of content on the left side and they could just go ahead and go through the process and they'll always have access to this guide. And anytime you could come back to the home icon over here, any of the guides and how-to videos you've created are gonna appear over here and you could go ahead and edit them anytime from this page or just press capture on top. That's gonna bring up our extension over here and I could go ahead and capture the next how-to video. I wanna thank Guide for partnering with me on this video. Obviously, one of the most useful and time-saving AI apps available right now. All the links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.